most people have this view of they work and they get money so they go to work they make something and then they get money so they think they're making money you cannot make money you can only take money from other people you can only convince other people to give you money that's the only way money can be made unless you're the federal reserve and you're not the federal reserve the federal reserve makes money you take money so I, when you're going through life i want you guys to stop saying i want to make money you have to start saying i want to take money because that's how you have to think you don't make it you take it you have to start talking that way you got to take money business is simple it's just other people's money that's all a business is a business is getting other people to send you their money that's what a business is now the federal reserve makes money it doesn't matter in america they make dollars it doesn't matter what country you're in you've got your own version of the federal reserve they create money from thin air you need to understand something is that money isn't real and it's created from thin air to enslave us you are slaves for money the people who are in charge of the world what they do is they type in numbers on a screen and they turn on the printer they print pieces of paper and then they use these pieces of paper to make you do things you don't want to do and make you a slave for pieces of paper that they make effectively for free now the important thing about this is that this destroys the idea of saving yourself rich i have lots of people come to me and go oh well i'm saving for if i save for my retirement save 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 you cannot save yourself rich because you can never save money faster than the federal reserve can print money they call it quantitative easing they call it like economy rescue they call it all these stupid things basically what they do is they turn on the printing press and they print money so there's no point in you saving this money working hard saving little bits and then they just print more that's why you have to deal with inflation that's why your money's worth less every year but my point is if more and more is going into circulation you need to find a way to get more and more you don't need to save the little bits you have like a little squirrel let me get the little bits and we just save them no you got to find a way to get more and more more exists every day there is more money remember we're not trying to make money we're trying to take money every day there is more money out there every street you drive down every building is owned by somebody somebody owns that building billions of dollars you drive down one road you see billions that skyscraper that building millions 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 from Tokyo Shanghai Dallas LA everything there is so much money it's everywhere you have to find a way to take you cannot make and you cannot save i want to give a very quick example let's imagine you made 10,000 euro a month okay let's take i've got 3 million dollars of cars that's what i've got so let's imagine you make 10,000 dollars a month because everyone says oh if i could make 10,000 I'd be really happy if I could make $10,000. So, if you think $10,000 is a good amount, then let's do some math. I got 3 million dollars of cars. You're making $10,000 a month. You are saving 100% of your income. You're not spending any of it. You're not spending a penny. You're eating for free, living for free, getting to and from work for free, not going out with your friends. You're not doing nothing. At each month, you're saving your whole $10,000. It's going to take you 300 months, 25 years divided by 12. Three of the months is 25 years to save up enough money to buy my car. 25 years of your life, you're going to have to save and work and spend zero dollars to get my car. It's impossible. The only way you get my car is by earning more, not by saving. Get rid of the idea of saving. Get rid of the idea of making money. Now, I'm not saying be irresponsible. I'm not saying throw all your money away. But the idea that you can save yourself rich is a joke. It's the kind of lie that the people in charge, the slave masters want you to believe. Oh, don't worry. Just keep working and you keep saving $100 a month while I print trillions a week. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. More money exists every day. You have to find a way to take more money. Money never stays still. If you put money in a bank, that bank is using it for something. If you spend money, it's moving from one place to another. If you buy a Starbucks, Starbucks takes your money, pays its employees. Then the employee goes to the store and buys something. The money is always moving. 
So once again, we are not trying to make money. More money exists every day. We are trying to take money and it's always moving. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Understand something. If you were a bandit and you wanted to take people's stuff, like, you know, the train robbers, they wouldn't try and get the gold when it was stuck in the vaults or the banks. They would try and get the gold when it was moving. They'd wait till it was being transported and they'd hijack it, just run up on it, bop, 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 give it the gold. So when something's moving, it's vulnerable. So money is always vulnerable. Write this down. We're not trying to make money. We're trying to take money. More exists every day. It's always moving and it's vulnerable. It's vulnerable because it's always moving. If you can find and identify a place where money is moving, if you can find a place where money is moving and stand in the way, then the money is vulnerable. You have to identify where it's moving and you have to attack the money. Just like a goal on a train, you gotta run up on it. So I saw money moving and I ran up on it. That's what you have to do. So this is the reframe. You don't make money. You must take money. Money is always moving. There's more of it every day and it is vulnerable and you must find where money is moving and attack it. I'll give you guys a perfect example. Look at these companies like Glovo. Glovo, what's Glovo? Glovo thought people order food. Okay, well, how about I deal with getting the food from the store to the person and I can make some money. That's all it is. They saw money moving. Money's going to a restaurant, food's going to a person. Well, if I can find a way to streamline the delivery, I can make some money. It's getting in the way of money moving. Start paying attention to how money's moving and start trying to get in the way. This is another really important point on how to make money. Most people never, never spend any of their time or any of their attention trying to find ways to make money. Now, I'll give you an example. When I was broke, I understood the principles I've already taught you. Our money is always moving and it's vulnerable when it's moving. So every time I spent money, every single time I spent money, I would sit and work out how they convinced me to spend money. So if I went to Starbucks, I could pour a latte. This is what you got, this is what you people do. Starbucks, latte please. Okay, that's $5. Okay, $5. Sip, sip, sip. Sip, sip, go home. That's what you do. Here's what I do. I walk in, latte please, $5. I pay the $5. I sit down, I look at my cup and go, $5. This is 99% water. They get the cup for a penny. They get the coffee for two pennies max. And the rest is hot water. Now I paid $5. So I'll sit there and go, okay, how did they convince me? They had a big branding sign. They had a big Starbucks sign outside. I kind of wanted coffee. That I know about Starbucks. They're all over the internet. They do good advertising. When I walked in, I could smell coffee. There was perfume in the air. Now, how else could they have made me spend more money? Why did I only spend $5 and I didn't spend $100? Do they have cake? Do they have food? Well, they have food, but it doesn't look very good. It's not laid out. They don't have hot meals. Oh, most of the people in here are men. Men on their lunch break from business. Why is a man serving? If a pretty girl was working here, they'd have more people coming in for coffee. You understand, when I spend money, I sit and I analyze. How did I spend money? Where could more money have been spent? How could they have taken more money from me? How much is the rent of this Starbucks? If I were to open up a business next door to Starbucks, could I sell lattes for $4 instead of $5? Would I be able to afford staff rent bills? Every time I spend money, I look at why money is being spent so I can identify the money moving and it gives me ideas to make money. All I do whenever I... Now, I need, you need to sit and work out how you're getting robbed. Because if you work out how people are robbing you, it will give you more ideas on how you can get in between money between other people. Do you understand? If you sit there and go, how is everyone taking my money? Okay, now I see how they're taking my money. So how can I do the same thing and take other people's money? You need to start viewing the world that way. Most of you 
never consider that when you say it. It should be all you think about because you're going to have ideas. Listen, Starbucks is just a coffee shop. They are one of the richest companies in the world. But they, they didn't come up with a great idea. It's not a revolutionary idea. It's the most boring idea. We're going to sell coffee, maybe a couple brownies. We'll have free Wi-Fi. That's the crappiest business idea. That's the worst idea. And they have all this money. People always say, Andrew, I need an idea. No, you don't. You don't need a good idea because bad ideas make money. Boring ideas make money. The most basic things make money because people are always spending money. Look at the stuff you spend money on. You're not spending money on taking a rocket to elephant space. You're not doing anything unique. You're spending money on crap. People are robbing you with crap and junk. That's what's happening. So you can do the same thing. What was the quote I said? What was the quote I said at the beginning? Business is just other people's money.